Hello, this is Ruth with AUW Site Resources, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a post to your WordPress site. So a quick word about what a post is. Um, posts are shorter bits of information as opposed to a page, and as you can see on the, uh, the pages I'm currently on uh, for our demo site, each one of these bits of information is a post. So for example, from PayPal, this is all a post, and up at the top, welcome to the demo site, this is a post. Um, so you want to add a post to catalog uh, upcoming events or other uh, bits of information that are time sensitive that you don't want to display in a static page. So um, go ahead and navigate to your own uh, website uh, and once you're there you can scroll to the bottom of the page and in the footer you'll see a link to log in. So let's go ahead and click that link and now you see your login page. I've already uh, saved my username and password here so we're all ready to go and I'm going to click the button login. Okay, So here's your dashboard and this is where you're gonna make all the things you're gonna do in WordPress. Uh, first step to add a post, let's look over to the left and in the left side toolbar at the very top you'll see Um, within the post page you can see all of the posts you've already made and you can also add new posts so that's what we're going to do today um, if you look at the very top next to posts uh, in the title there's a button that says add new and you can also do the same thing from your left side toolbar whichever is more comfortable t to you um, there's an add new option right under posts so go ahead and click that and now here's our text editing box to add our post and you can see uh, right directly above our text editing box we have uh, an area to enter our title so I'm gonna go ahead and type in a title Okay. and my title is going to be event for AUW okay. and I already have a little bit of dummy text I'm going to drop in here so go ahead and click inside your text editing box and you can type whatever you need to say. Now if you're familiar with Microsoft Word you should be able to do pretty much everything you want to do in here. You can space text out, you can make it bold, you can italicize, you can change the alignment, uh, you can add links, and so forth. Uh, I'll go into this more depth in a later tutorial, but for now I just want to familiarize you with the text editing box. And um, if you are familiar with HTML, you can also toggle between a visual and HTML tab. Um, in HTML, you can see that I've got these tags here, and um, you can literally type in your own tags directly here. Then when you toggle back to visual, it will all show up. Okay. So let's say I've typed in all of my information and I, I'm not sure if it looks exactly how I want it to. Um, even with the visual text box, I kind of want to see what it looks like before I publish it. Well, you can definitely do that. Um, you can also save it for later. If you look over to the right, you'll see a publishing box. It says publish at the top in this gray bar. And then directly under that, you have a button that says save draft. So if you want to save it and come back to it later, it's not a problem you would just click save draft okay uh, you can also preview it so you can preview it by clicking on again in the publish box to your right under the gray toolbar you can click the preview button and that will show you what it looks like before you've actually published it so now I can see exactly how it looks in my website before it's actually been published so let's go ahead and close that window Okay, so now we're confident it looks good, we're ready to put it up, we're going to publish. Go back to your publish box with the gray toolbar on the right, and the blue button at the bottom says publish. So let's go ahead and click publish. Okay, great. So now you have the option, um, you'll see this highlighted box right under your title of edit post. It says post has been published, and you can click this link to view your post. Okay, looks just like our preview, and you can click the back button to go back into your dashboard. 
and you can also uh, use this area to add categories and tags and several other elements uh, in WordPress that are helpful that uh, we'll be going over in more detail in more of our tutorials later. But for today, just wanted to show you how to add a post and how easy it is, and um, that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.